Hey guys, uh, William here, and I want to bring you the Horizon Experiment drop-offs. The Horizon drop-off experiment, okay? Uh, so basically, this was conducted originally by uh, Joseph Climera, and uh, what he does here is he takes a uh, pitcher of water. You can see it's like a, a Brita filter here, and he sets up uh, some paper boats and uh, he backs away from it and when he backs away it seems to look like okay they're dropping off the horizon uh, he does the same thing for a sun here so go ahead and as you back off it appears to drop off now I mentioned that it's really hard to tell if he drops below the countertop level or not just the way it was uh, set up so uh, I went ahead and did my own experiments but uh, in an effort for disclosure let me just say so this is uh, ships disappearing over the horizon experiments to propose an alternative hypothesis okay so these videos are not meant to prove anything or refute anything but just to provide an alternative hypothesis when multiple reasonable hypotheses exist, then this opens up the topic to further research and testing. Very simply, these experiments are done to see if there are any phenomena that may be present that creates the appearance of ships disappearing behind the horizon. The first experiment was done by Joseph Clamera. I saw several problems or questions that I had with his test, so I set off to replicate my own. The second video, that I haven't shown you yet, is my first experiment that I have conducted. I commented on Joseph's own video of his own experiment that I was unable to replicate his results. This was last night, the 23rd. Today I took an objective look at my experiment and realized that I had made an error, that there was something else I had not tested. I reformed this experiment today, earlier the 24th, and even halfway through that experiment I had not noticed the results. Um, at that halfway point through the second experiment, I noticed the signs of the ph phenomena that I was testing for. This point is easily noticed in my video. Propelled to refine my experiment even more, I conducted my own third experiment. I believe that the results speak for themselves. Again, before I show you this video, I'm not making any claims about what they prove or disprove. I claim nothing of the sort, but I'm ju just proposing alternative possibilities to the normal thought process of this phenomena. As again, we're looking at ships disappearing over the horizon. There are still some things that I want to test further. Different shaped containers and different dif di distances, so my experiments are not finished. But Joseph Clamera did design an experiment that is able to be replicated and critiqued. His first experiment, I just showed you. I'm skeptical because the camera might have dropped below the counter top plus there's the shaky nature of the camera um, I was proud to test my own the second one um, in this first video I was using my tripod and holding the camera upside down close to the table I was still unhappy with the results and I thought that it didn't show anything um, then the second video in this the second experiment that's on this same video um, I simply set the camera down and slide it back to see the differences. So let's go ahead, let's take a look at this second test. Sorry, uh, my first experiment and my second experiment. So this first one I do upside down. I'm holding it by a tripod and I'm holding it down as close to the table as I can. And I just don't see any change. Now, what we're looking at here, guys, is Pez dispensers and then a photo. Uh, this Pez dispenser is a rough kind of globe, and as you see, we see almost the entire part. It almost looks as if we see a little bit of reflection on the bottom. That's not the phenomena that we're looking for. So I just don't see, I didn't see the phenomena in that first test. Well, I do this second test, and uh, I'm just sliding, I have the camera sitting down, and I'm sliding, sliding it back my dog Maggie at this point I say well I don't really see much of anything and it's not until later that I do notice that this bottom point here is very distorted you know what used to be a 
spherical globe sphere like it's not a sphere it's anything anything but a sphere but a roughly round or oval is now far from that um, sorry this is in let me let me drop this down here there's no reason for us to be looking this at uh, full 1080p you can view it yourself in full 1080p if you really want um, but what I show later on in this video here is that there was the definite distortion this is close up you can see that that is pretty high up and as we back off it gets humongously distorted from my view um, again that's that's just looking way back camera was on a tripod I, I it just seems to change actually no 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 I'm sorry the camera was not on a tripod on this one and the results I was a little skeptical on um, I noticed that there were some inconsistencies with this result so I do my third experiment in my third experiment I set up a tripod at the end of the table and only move the container which was creating the lens so let's see what we have there refraction test three So the camera is not moving, guys. Okay, and as we see, we see almost the whole globe there of the Pez dispenser. And as I back this towards the camera, we can already see. I mean, I barely moved it, and we can already see great distortion here. And uh, even there, when I move the bottle, we can see a little bit of a difference. Now this bottle you can see here it's definitely flat shaped we're not looking at distortion because of the bottle this is just passing through the passing through the water okay so as I come back even further I mean this is definitely flattened out uh, it's almost non-existent if there were waves or something you know if there were waves or something else uh, I could definitely see how you could think that it was gone when really the appearances is just uh, smushed um, again this is looking almost right up on it and it just that's the normal look so here's my setup that I had I had my tripod uh, this was my tripod It's actually a solo shot 2 setup it's a robotic camera system and that's what uh, that's what we were looking at um, now, notice the lens is not being moved. It was the lens movement that I noticed the more of these phenomena being there based on the distance of the lens. So that can be definitely one contributing factor to the reason that it's as ships or something seem to go further, we seem to perceive these changes. Okay. So here's my tripod. That's a solo shot too. You can look it up. You can find out what it is. Very simple. Long, flat dining room table here. And then there's my setup. Now this is this was why we were not seeing much of the distortion. The lens was right up against the uh, objects here. So, conclusions. It seems as if the water and the container create a lens distortion on the objects. This distortion is seen maximum about 40% away from the camera. Um, that is the lens being 40% of the distance from the camera to the end objects. So I wonder if atmospheric water vapor could attest for a similar lens effect without a container. Due to my similar results, this gives me a confidence in Joseph's original test, which I have no, um, I also have no proposed source of this distortion or the phenomena in nature. Um, I just think it's something interesting to study. We do know that everything is greatly, uh, has a lot of water, uh, including the water vapor and everything. So that's the likely source, is water, atmospheric water. But I can't explain the lens effect or the container. Uh, with no confidence in this test, I propose that it be replicated under different circumstances worldwide. Oh, with confidence. I have confidence in my test. Uh, 
I have confidence in what I showed that uh, it was steady. We were just moving the lens. Um, I do plan to test this as a longer distance with a telescope or my telephoto camera lens or both. Uh, both on tripods of course and I feel that it's important to consider with for future testing different shaped containers uh, this one it had two flat sided containers so I suggest that we use uh, double curved sides um, also those curves should be lateral curves and then vertical curves uh, they, those would replicate uh, different results um, also a single curve container where one side's flat one side single we should look at the single being the front the single being the back um, and if what we're kind of proposing as a hypothesis to you know trying to think what can cause this so we're thinking of something in the atmosphere must we also think about and evaluate the other attributing things that may be in the atmosphere uh, we have the Kind of the light bending particles or the proposed light bending particles in the chemtrails uh the pollution evaporation of water is that where we're getting this um it's over the ocean so there's always evaporation of this is that evaporation and the raising of the evaporation into the atmosphere into the higher levels causing some of this diffraction uh will it be present or do we theorize that it may be present in high or low humidity if either one of those have uh, more of an effect on it or if uh, you know the salt spray or waves could be an attributing factor thanks guys I uh, love your input on this uh, phenomena and uh, just curious if we can find out if it's you know one thing to look at one thing I questioned was was it the bottom of this container that was causing this distortion? I don't think in my experiment that it was. I think I had it set up at the correct level where we're viewing it without the bottom becoming a factor, but that's definitely open for debate. If you think that was an issue, please uh, you know, take some screenshots, show me, or just tell me when it was in the video that you think it uh, created that problem. Um, definitely open open for that refutation so judge for yourself guys um i definitely think there's more to look at i appreciate it and as always guys you know study for yourself uh, william brower out i'm gonna be making a website flatbeliever.com it's just something i'm behind uh, you can look it's definitely a passion of mine. All you have to do is look at the number of videos that I've made. So, all right, guys. Love you guys. Uh, take care. And until another day.